Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 10.10 in Honolulu, 4.10 in New York. It is Wednesday, August the 10th, 2016, and this is Trending Markets. A continuation of the moderate but still lower pricing in U.S. equities vis-a-vis -vis the Standard & Poor's and Dow Jones today. Dow Jones Industrial Average closing off about 37 points on the day at 18495 That puts us almost at a solid week of prices under pressure. Standard & Poor's, this of course the E-mini, also trading lower on the day, off by about two-tenths of a percent, or four points at 2173.50. And then crude continues its slide off about 3% on the day at 41.47. So, traders, the first chart that I do want to look at on today's show is the dollar index. And especially as it pertains to gold, gold today closed up about $6 on the day. It was actually negative about a dollar due to normal trading. And the remainder of the rise itself, meaning about $7, was directly due to a weakening U.S. dollar. You can see the U.S. dollar here off about six-tenths of a percent. And that was basically where we saw the rise in gold. If you recall from yesterday's show, we talked about the fact that I really wanted to see if the dollar would find resistance at this particular price point. These tops here that occur at a 61% retracement, and that's a retracement from these lows at 93.80 up to uh, 100 on the dollar index. We certainly got that continuation of a drop today. And so when we look at the lows and we draw our line across, you'll see that that kind of matches this particular low here in which the market came down and absolutely found support, kind of bounced off of that. My sense is right now that as we look at this market, if we do have a continuation of downside pressure, and personally, I think that we probably will, the next spot we really want to look at is going to be about 9,500. It's not a FIB based number, but as you can see in terms of a historical perspective, we've seen headwinds right and this particular price point as recently as April of this year. So traders, can you say consolidation? Well, we all can say it, but the question is whether or not the equities markets are consolidating or genuinely getting very top heavy. We've got our historical and lifetime highs that occur on the standard and pours coming in right here at this line. You can then see at this point, we've made at least one attempt. We talked about that pattern called a scouting party, but that was to no avail. Market comes down a little bit to about uh, 2140, moves back up. And then we have over the last three days, even with today's a uh, lower uh, market, meaning uh, 2172 off about five points right now, you can see that even the close managed to stay above this 21.7160. And so it still can be looked at as that beachhead that we talked about. And we'll see if this market can hold this particular price point. And if it can, obviously, I think we'll see higher pricing and we'll see a bounce. But traders, at these record highs, anything can happen. And I would like something definitive one way or the other before I give you an absolute sense for what I think the interim forecast in U.S. equities will be. However, traders, the same cannot be said for crude oil. Crude oil, at least as far as I'm concerned, has been a fairly easy read, especially after it hit uh, these highs at 52 and begin to track lower. Of course, that was a substantial rally coming in from 26 to 52. And when we plotted our various FIB uh, extensions as well as FIB retracements, excuse me, we came up with areas that really were pretty significant in terms of an area that I thought we would see some sort of market a trade to in terms of a price point. And this, of course, as the market was tracking lower, our call was for between 44 and 42. Market absolutely drifted lower. In fact, broke through that price point, which is when we revised our low end of the scale 
to about $39 a barrel. And that, of course, was based on a 50% retracement. That's precisely where the market moved to. If you recall, over the last couple of days, even with the market moving up, my sense was that we would see sideways to lower pricing. We did get a little bounce. The bounce came in really from about 39, but really stalled just at this $44 level. And so I truly believe that 44 is now resistance in the market. And I believe again, we will see this market track either sideways to lower through the remainder of the summer. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another Trending Markets. Bye-bye.